Hey guys, Brandon back here with Surface Solutions in Grand Prairie. Wanted to run you through our digital bubble tester video. Uh, Surface Solutions is a Western Canadian digital distributor for these tools. We are looking to sell, rent, and utilize these with our field services. Um, I made a quick video on our YouTube page. If you have any questions on the procedure document, um, there will be an information slide at the end of the video with my email address, phone number. Contact me at any time. Hopefully I can add a PDF document at, uh, through a link or something along those lines. One portion of the video that I did make a mistake on, fairly important actually to the tool as we don't have um, Teflon tape on the ends going into the meter. Other than that, I hope you uh, find the video informative and we'll get into it. Okay, we have our alley cat set up here and we are on location. We have our flow meter, charger, quick connect fittings and our two inch to go up into the surface casing vent. And I'm going to show you guys how to download the app on any Samsung iPhone system. Okay, so using uh, the Google Play Store or the iPhone Store, we're going to search up Alley Cat Connect. This is the app. This allows us to connect to our units using Bluetooth, graph our findings, and also share the Excel file from the bubble test results uh, straight from our phones. Alrighty guys, we have made it to location. We have all our key components. Got the wellhead over there. A nice uh, electrical submersible pump that looks like it used to have a pump jack on it. We've got the cell phone digital bubble tester, a 2 inch quick connect fitting and our charger. We're good to go. Um, in every Pelican case, we will include your calibration file right here straight from manufacturer certificate of calibration as well we include a procedure manual um, an important step to determining accurate and repeatable results is following this when you first connect your phone to the alley cat make sure we are following the steps accordingly to set up our units and our standards to complete the 15 minute bubble test. Uh, if you'd like to take a screenshot if you're watching on your phone or take a picture, now's the time. All right, so we're gonna walk through each of these steps. I'm gonna read them out as best I can. Step one, leave red plugs in as meter is very sensitive and needs five seconds to tear zero so as a good practice um, we're always going to come up to this guy have our plugs in so no flow is going through the unit and you should be zero, seeing exactly zero maybe you'll see a little bit of a positive maybe a little bit of a negative there is a tear flow function on the top right we're going to hit that and leave it as well, this is the accumulative counting in the next button. We are also going to reset that. Menu. And there we go. Step number two. We are... Function the whisper meter. We can... Uh, use this to you know complete bubble tests through the night um, even the time of day there's some glare so that's a nice little function press the whisper button and if you'd like to set up your engineering units by pressing next and menu and then set up you can go learn about the tool dive in a little bit further um, display advanced settings play with that a little bit more so now we're going to get into opening the app on the phone Here we have our cell phone here off to the left. 
we can pull up our alley cat save that for the blooper reel here down to the right we have our alley cat connect once again guys now we're on to the bottom set of instructions There, we can see our device. So step number one is press gear on the top right corner of the phone. To make sure demo mode is turned off. And come down to keep compl incomplete records. We're going to turn that on. Another nice function is keeping the screen awake. Sometimes phones go into rest mode every so often. Now we're going to scroll a little bit further on the bottom right. On the bottom we have advanced settings. And this polling rate is going to be set for one second. So you got to make sure if it's at 2.5, we set it to one second and apply. So now we are going to return to devices. Here we have serial number 411940. That can be referred to on the back of your unit. There we go, 411940. Green always means connected. You may see orange at times, which means not paired or uh, loading. So here we go. There we have the graph running. Right here, depending on the well location, um, you can press this and change it. Here we have the serial number, the manufacture date, the calibration date. Here are our units. First, we have pressure in KPA, temperature in Celsius, mass flow in standard meters cubed per day, and volume flow in meters cubed per day. So this is a temperature compensated mass flow meter. It takes the volume flow and the temperature and has a standard flow rate associated. So one important area is the standards. We're always setting this to a standard temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and this pressure always to one ATM. And now we are going to return to the live lightning bolt. So next step would to, next step is we're gonna get out of the truck. We are going to install the tools to the surface casing vent, and we're going to start our bubble test. All right, guys, we've got our alley cat flow meter on the surface casing vent. Got our phone right down here and it is sampling. Step number one, we're going to hit the record button. Time it for a full 15 minutes. And we're going to start recording. Very important that we erase the data beforehand. So on our flow meter, accumulative, it already has been sampling for 11 minutes. We're going to reset that back to zero, back to the menu, and we've got our bubble test reading and recording the instantaneous flow rate and the volume. Okay, 10 seconds left. 
New Year's countdown. I'm getting a little bit cold out here with the wind. Over 15 minutes, we've accumulated 1.82 standard liters per minute. Now we have seen that the test is finished. Our unit is saving. We're not gonna touch anything for right now. Let it do its thing. Orange symbol means it's thinking, slash saving. Patience is key with new devices and technology. There we go. Hope I didn't miss it, but it saved the record. Here we go. I did a 15 minute bubble test on the same well earlier. Here is our most recent record. I'm gonna select that, it can pull up the graph. All right, here we go. If we would like, we have our information here. Press play and we can watch back our bubble test. Very cool. The full 15 minutes would be accounted for in this if you're interested. Another nice function is we hit the share button at the top right. It's gathering the data, putting it into a CSV file that is shareable from location. Pull up your email and to whoever you'd like to send it to. Empty subject, that's all right. Boom, there we go. Whether it's uh, engineer in Calgary, um, you want it to keep the file on your laptop, uh, straight from your phone and on location, to wherever you'd like.